Hello everyone, Neil for T-Shares here, coming at you with another strategy for Tetra, where we automate your DeFi. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you would, please like, share, and subscribe, because today we're going to talk about Hex. And we're going to take a look at three protocols that I've done videos on previously, Stakehouse, Superstake, and Fairhex, and look at a strategy which combines all three. So, hold on to your seats and let's see what we have in store for you. All right, so let's look at this strategy here. So we'll be utilizing the Fairhex protocol, the Super Stake protocol, and the Stakehouse protocol. So we have our Tetra wallet, and we'll have a strategy ongoing that helps us either DCA in, or maybe take our Hex we already own and utilize it. So what we'll do is have our Hex, and we're gonna go into the Fairhex protocol and stake our Hex. Now, we'll have our Hex principal, our yield in Fairhex, which is about 20 to 40 percent more than normal yield in our hedron. So in this strategy, we're going to try to acquire fair hex tokens because just holding them generate hex's yield. And so, but we can take a portion of those and uh, add back to our principal and restake them, to creating a loop. And if we chose to, we could uh, take some of the profits as well. Now, when our, our hedron is, is staked in the strategy. Uh, it will produce icosa and that icosa then we will use and sell for more fair hex tokens and a portion for super stake tokens which when you hold these also uh, generate hex as yield um, and if you chose you can also take a portion of this icosa and swap for hex directly if you need the hex immediately for uh, your next portion of hex in the strategy so if you have a big bag and you decide to split it in two you take a portion, go to Fair Hex, and the other portion, go to Stakehouse, and utilize the pooled staking options. And so this super stake will then continue to uh, add this hex when these pool stakes uh, are, are ready to uh, join. And so in, by joining a stake and staking through the Stakehouse, you get a pool token that's a representation of your ownership in those pools. And these uh, tokens are liquid, can be uh, bought and sold. So if you chose to, you can take a portion of these tokens and then purchase MCR token. The MCR token is a yield bearing token that yields uh, a portion of the fees from the, the staking pools as well as over OTC sales through Stakehouse. And so those fees mostly come in the form of Ethereum, but you might get some Hedron too if somebody fails to uh, uh, redeem their to pool tokens when the time comes and the stake ends. Now, when these stakes do end, uh, Tetra can manage this redemption process and redeem these pool tokens for your hex and your hedron as your portion of the stake. So in this strategy, we'll take continue to take our hedron and stake it. And then the Icosa we receive, we will reinvest. Some will purchase super stake tokens to continue having more hex yield, and the others uh, will be used to buy uh, more MCR tokens to give us more uh, Ethereum or Pulse, depending on which network you're on, uh, to increase that yield. It's also to help pay for the gas in these stakes. And we can also then take a portion of this, this Ethereum or Pulse we're not using and use to purchase more Super Stake tokens, which in turn can be help boost the Fairhex loop that we have, increasing it as well. And as always, we can off ramp uh, with the portion of the shield here, or through at any this any time we wish to sell a portion of our Hex bag, or our Icosa or our Hedron, uh, for profits. So as you can see in Looking at this strategy, it's very complex, and to do this manually, you would have to have a calendar and dates and time set up for each one of these stakes that end, and when to start them, when to reinvest, as well as managing the actual gas fees, especially on Ethereum. But with Tetra, all this can be done for you, and managed in such a way that you don't have to worry, and it's it's uh, capital efficient, especially with gas. So Tetra will be there every step of the way to manage your hex stakes for all these new protocols and new innovations that are coming out, as well as your some of your native stakes and HSIs that you possess. Well, as you can see, strategies like these can be a daunting task to comprehend, much less execute. But with Tetra, in a simple drag and drop user interface, you'll be able to create your own strategies like this one, or use pre-made ones as well. So, as the ecosystem uh, evolves over time, and uh, these protocols like Stakehouse, Superstake, and Fairhex uh, uh, come up with new and inventive ways to build on top.
top of the HEX ecosystem, Tetra will be there every step of the way to help you manage and to coordinate all these uh, wonderful different protocols and to really get the most out of the, the, uh, the blockchain experience, whether it be on Ethereum or Pulse Chain. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this content. If you would, please continue to like, share, and, and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, uh, the comment section below. Well, this is Neil for T-Share signing off with another strategy for Tetra. Have a nice day and take care.